How much does independent contractor insurance cost and what do you need to know before you buy? We're going to answer those questions right now. Hi, Ryan Hanley here, founder and president of Rogue Risk, where we do insurance differently, specifically by giving you knowledge and information to make the right insurance decision. Now, when it comes to independent contractors insurance and specifically uh, the cost of that insurance and ultimately how do we get the most competitive cost for that insurance a couple of things we need to understand uh if you're doing knowledge-based independent contracting work uh and you work remotely your insurance is going to be relatively inexpensive you're going to need a simple bop or business owner's policy um, which is going to cover your general liability uh any equipment that you have any property which is going to be negligible in cost anyways um, assuming you have somewhere between five and twenty-five thousand dollars in property, you might want to cover, which would be computers, cameras, anything like that. Um, and then uh, there's some basket of ancillary coverages in case something happens, business interruption, business income, things like that. Uh, you're going to need a business owner's policy. If you're working by yourself, then you're most likely not going to need a workers' comp policy. If you have a vehicle that's registered under the business, um, a lot of independent contractors have started. To, we've seen this more and more. Uh, independent contractors doing this for tax purposes. They'll They'll register their car under the business and then they're able to write it off as an expense. If you're doing that, then you need to have commercial auto insurance. Your, your personal insurance, your personal auto policy is not going to cover a vehicle registered to the business. So if that's the case, um, then you want to have a commercial auto policy. If it's still registered under your personal name and you just use it for business occasionally, then just make sure that your uh, personal insurance company knows that so that uh, if anything happens, you're you have coverage. Uh, then beyond that, you're going to need uh, maybe a technology e &O policy or a professional liability policy, and you're probably going to want to have a cyber insurance policy. Those would be the base coverages that you'd want to think about. And to get the most effective rate, you're going to want to package those coverages with one company if possible. Now, this isn't always possible in commercial insurance. Uh, bundling coverages, bundling policies is much more prominent in personal insurance than it is in commercial. But if you could, as an independent contractor, look at somebody like a Hartford, a Chubb, a Hanover, companies that have the ability to package all your coverages, all those lines I just mentioned, a business owner's policy, potentially workers' comp, but probably not, commercial auto, tech e &O, cyber, uh, professional liability, to package those coverages with one company, that is how you're going to get the most effective cost. And then work with a broker who understands the market and can make sure that they have access to those companies, can rate them against each other, and figure out who has the best rate. The worst way to get a competitive rate for independent contractors insurance is to go out and blast quote requests to like 40 different agents. That is how you get the worst rate because what's going to happen is the carriers are going to know that you're doing that. They're going to see these submissions coming from a whole bunch of different agents and they're not going to give you a competitive rate because they're going to because in their mind, whether this is something that you agree with uh, philosophically or not, if you're shopping out to that many different agents in such a short period of time, it means you're probably not a great client for that agent, for that carrier, and they're not going to give you the most competitive rating. So that may sound counterintuitive. Find someone you trust, work with them, have them shop the markets, and if they can, package all your coverages with one carrier for, for independent. This isn't for all different businesses, this isn't always the best, but for independent contractors, seeing if you can package all of your coverages with one company is absolutely the best bet from a cost perspective and ultimately from a coverage and claims perspective as well. If this is the kind of relationship that you'd like to have with your insurance provider, we would love to work with you. We have two options listed by this video. You can either uh, get a quote yourself. There's a kind of do it yourself option. If that's the type of person that you are, you like to get quotes yourself. There's a DIY option. We've created that service for you. Also, if you'd like to work with an agent, click that button or link and um, fill out a simple form and we'll match you with the best uh, licensed insurance agent on our team that matches what you need. Um, and if you just prefer to pick up the phone, you can always do that. 518-960-6600. That's 518-960-6600. Whichever way you choose, we look forward to working with you.